Here we go, I am buckled up, baby! Nice. <laughs>
force turnovers, <coughs> but control the ball. And that's what they did. Um, and a l- large part of that is they're now starting to mesh. Uh, Trey Mitchell, transferred from Texas, Ooh. is seeming to find himself yeah, now. Definitely. Um, I... Bob Huggins, which a lot of people are actually taking offense to this, last night in his press conference compared him to saying he's going to have a season like Deshaun Butler. In my opinion, no one will ever have a season like Deshaun Butler in West Virginia history. That guy is the best basketball player since Jerry West to probably play here. I, I would just – and I don't know. That's an opinion. So, you know, you all may have different opinions. But Deshaun Butler is part of that 2010 Final Four team, the guy who – tore his ACL on the court, Bob Huggins, you know, that that whole scene. That mm-hmm. was Deshaun. Um, I just think – I think that's a bit of a stretch to compare Trey Mitchell to, to Deshaun and say he's just like him. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but last night, he did only miss two shots last night. I, that was, yeah. How many shots did he take? Uh, he was 8 for 10 from the from uh, in field goals and 5 for 5 from the free throw line. I mean, 80% is just – I mean, phenomenal for basketball. Yeah. Uh, another thing. What do you think the odds are tonight that? Uh, I'm sorry. That, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, the, you're good. This has nothing to do with West Virginia. What do you think the odds are that Pittsburgh beats Michigan tonight? Oh, Ooh. not a shot. Yeah, West no. Virginia swiped them off the floor. There's no shot. Okay. I'm Honestly, kidding. though, West Virginia kind of wants them to beat Michigan yeah, because that makes them look a lot better. better. Uh-huh. Michigan's, so Michigan's twenty, or at least be a close game. Yeah, at least be a close game. I believe that yeah. one starts at what six? Yeah, it starts at yeah. nine. If we're talking yeah. about close games, how about uh, uh, Duke Michigan State last night? Was really I was g- I was getting into that after uh, yeah, WVU. Well, well, well then, well then, <laughs> let we'll him get segue. Um, so a uh, few questions. Yeah. So what I already kind of put my two cents in as what is and I like I said last week the turnovers, but what does West Virginia need to do to continue to be great and be one of the top teams in the country? I mean, if, if I can start off, I mean, I'm, I don't know too much about basketball and I'm not going to pretend like I do know a lot about basketball, but one thing that I can say from like, I guess just a, a major like a uh, sports standpoint, I guess if that's how, how you could call it. Yeah. Um, if it, during the first half, they seemed like they couldn't get shots off or if they if they were getting shots off, they were, you know, missing right, missing left, you know, hitting the rim. I mean, if you want to start, you got to start fast, physical. I mean, not physical in basketball, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, just getting points on the board, making shots. Um, but these past three games, it seems like uh, the first half was a little slow. And then they just get red hot, like halfway, like halfway through. Yesterday, their first kind of the first five minutes, they played sluggish. And Bob said this: they played sluggish on uh, the first half. Uh, Bob Huggins never takes a fifteen point. Like he he always thinks that they can play better, and that's every coach, right? Not just Bob. Um, the first five minutes were very sluggish for them. Very. Um, and. At the same time, I'm sitting here thinking, well, maybe Morehead State's just that. I mean, they're predicted to win their conference, Morehead State is. Um, but y- you're right. They got to come out to quicker starts. Mm-hmm. Um, and they will. This is – you got to think this is – this team is – West Virginia only has, like, two remaining play, – like, two returning players from yeah. last season. Yeah. So this is a whole new team. These guys have not really played with each other. The only two that have really played with each other is – Eric Stevenson and Emma Matthews, they played with each other in AAU in high school. So those are the only guys that really, you know, played together. So it, it it's interesting to see. But you're right. They do have to come out and start better because in the Big 12, you're playing a team like Kansas. If Kansas is going to come out and start quick, 12, you have to be able to match them. the best conference of basketball for the last two seasons. Oh, oh, right. oh sure. for sure. And then, and then you have Gonzaga moving over sometime. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, Bob Huggins says that they won't be able to hang with them. <laughs> Um, I saw a stat today from uh, Fran for Schiller. Huh? What did you say? Bob Huggins said that uh, essentially, and to sum it up, he said Gonzaga won't be able to hang with with the Big Twelve. Oh, I thought you said the other way around. I'm like, no, that's not true. No, my bad. I'll tell you what though, Bob Huggins, Bobby Huggins, he's gonna get his test against Gonzaga quite soon. If Maybe we beat Purdue. Ah, we can beat Purdue. Mm. We can it's beat possible. Purdue. They come out. I will say this. I'll put in what what they have to do. I'll put in another thing. They were twenty three percent from the three point range. You That's, gotta yeah. shoot better. I was gonna say, you we gotta do. shoot it better, huh? We do. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You just gotta shoot the three ball better. You do that, you're fine. 
because you're 81% for the free throw line. You only missed three last night. That's fine. Uh, field goal range, you shot about 46, so that's that's good. That's fine. You're in that 50 range. That's fine. Um, rebounding the ball, you got to be able to out-rebound teams. Uh, they were equal with Moorhead State last night. So you got to be able to out-rebound teams. You got to win those. You got to get, which they did get more offensive rebounds, but I don't know what you're. Oh. Um, you just, you got to be able to, you know, to, uh, you just got to shoot the ball better. And you got to stay out of foul trouble, which first game they had an issue. Uh, Pitt, so it kind of s- laid off. Last night they didn't really have foul yeah. issues. We um, didn't get Chick fil A either. We that, did not that get Chick fil A. That we did not get Chick fil A. Um, I will say this West Virginia's largest lead of the game was 26 last night. Uh, Moorhead State's was four. Um, but Bob Huggins actually had more fouls than some of the players last night. I was about to say Bobby Huggins had had Bobby. one last night. <laughs> no, he was he was running up and down like within like maybe the first maybe ten minutes or so. And he paid me ten bucks because he I didn't did. he didn't get ejected. We made a bet that he was gonna get ejected no, by ten minutes in, and he didn't. The referees they they won't eject you this early in the season. I'll make um, the bet. You want to make the Because most again? most times most times depending on the conference, uh, sometimes it can. Uh, result in a suspension, yeah. so sometimes they don't want to do that. Um, he was close, but, though. Uh, it's just Bob Huggins, and those refs know that, but close. they also, the refs had to set their tone of, hey, you're not going to scream at us the whole game. I mean, and, yeah. you know, they kind of get them to back off a little bit. But Bob is Bob. Bob is Bob. Bob, is Bob. So if, if you if you manage to get Bob Huggins out of his chair, then something's really Oh, it's wrong. easy to get him out of he his chair. It's easy to chair. get out of his chair. First the players game, get him out of his chair all the time. <laughs> He just can't. He just can't stand the whole forty minutes. I mean, yeah. Well, but the 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 Moorhead State uh, uh, coach could definitely stand for three of those games. Um, Moorhead State's coach is also like thirty years younger than yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah, but same Bob's time, like he was, <laughs> he was on the court. You're thinking we have a Hall of Fame coach yeah. compared to a I, okay, head no, basketball no, coach. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not making fun think of that. that. I'm making fun of the the fact that Moorhead State's coach was. Basically halfway across. That's every the basketball court. coach. That's what happens. Still, basketball. I do love I do love those basketball games. So mm-hmm. they're so fun. It Dude, they are so much God. fun. And you know what? I'm warm and not wet like mm-hmm. I was Saturday. Yeah. And we'll talk about sure. that more. They're even that better. Trust it's me. even better when you're close to the court. Yeah. Oh, shut up. All right, uh, Camden. Yes. Uh, next question for you. What can WV fix? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say the three points. Like we just need to hit them. It's like. We're getting wide open looks and stuff. We just yeah. can't hit them. Yeah, every time I put, went in the air and did uh, yeah, three, three. We, we, we missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just want to hear the guy. You know, he d- does his long, yeah. his long three call. I just want to hear it. Yeah. Like we would win by like fifteen more points if we would hit threes. The first time we hit a three, this guy throws his hand up like this, and I just rip it down like that, and it and it somehow worked. And I was like, just don't do it again. And then, and then yeah, it was funny. So Griffin. <laughs> yes. Uh I this this can this one can be for everybody too. Uh thoughts on the first three games from WWE. Fantastic. I mean we we looked better than last year, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> start off um, we stay hard. You know. I'll say this, Bob Huggins last night said he has never had a team that missed more layups. <laughs> and I was sitting there thinking That's true. Bob, do you remember last year's team? <laughs> oh wait, yeah. Because last year was rough. I mean, if that's if I mean if that was a bad performance, I want to see a good performance. You know. Yeah. I'd hate to see WV on a good performance. He has not been. He was. He was okay with them. Mount St. Mary's, obviously. You know, first game. There's things to fix. Mm-hmm. Pitt. He was excited. They. They were all excited. They beat Pitt. They. They didn't just beat Pitt. They washed him off the floor. Then you they come did. back home and you play Morehead State, who's a team. Which I'll say this. Yeah. Obviously, they're not the caliber of certain opponents, but they're but better. They're one of the players actually was not taking them very seriously, apparently, in practice, um, and had to run stairs last night. And let me tell you, I would kill myself. But after the game? Yes, I would I would kill myself. If I had to run, yeah. and he had to, every step of the Coliseum he had to touch. Damn. Because he did. He was joking around. Bob said uh, he was not taking Moorhead State seriously, and Bob knows... You got to take yeah. Morehead State seriously. Yeah. This is a team that, and I even said that last night. You know, Griffin said something. We had like a fifteen point lead, and I said, "Listen, I am not going to sit here and be comfortable with a fifteen point lead against Morehead State. Mm-hmm. You just can't. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're, they're projected to beat 
to win the OVC, which the OVC is a pretty decent. It's like the Sun Belt of college basketball, essentially, mm-hmm. if yeah. you really think about it. So, you know. Well, I mean, and you even said that they they've made the tournament. They've made the know? tournament multiple years, They're multiple times. Multiple so, times, yeah. Like, so, like, and and how deep do they usually go? Uh, usually only first round. Sometimes depends on who they play. So they can pull off an upset. They're a team that definitely can. And I expect Morehead State to be in the tournament. I expect them to win the OVC. I expect them to be in the tournament. And I would not even be shocked if WVU finds themselves playing Morehead mm-hmm. State again right. in the NCAA tournament. I just uh, how do we get there first? Hey, That's, I mean, hey, 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 hey. Um, but you know what? Speaking of tournaments, the Phil Knight Legacy Invitational in mm-hmm. Portland, Oregon, hmm. kicks off Thanksgiving Day at noon. With Duke and Oregon State, Ooh. then at two thirty, Florida and Xavier. Then at seven thirty, oh, th- these are all Pacific time, by the way. Um, so seven seven o'clock yeah. Pacific time, your world champion Mountaineers take on the <laughs> Purdue boil, Boilermakers. Yeah. Uh, and then at nine thirty Pacific time, uh, Gonzaga takes on Portland State. Gonzaga wins against Portland State. WVU beats Purdue. WVU has to face Gonzaga. <laughs> um, Yay. <laughs> and then if Duke wins out and you beat somehow beat Gonzaga, you gotta play Duke. Um yeah. it doesn't take a ma- so, it doesn't take a, uh, a sports major to realize that Duke is um <clears throat> the best of at So best Duke is not as good as they usually are after last night. I mean, I mean that's Kansas stuff. Um, you also have to think though, you know, Coach K's not on the sideline either. That's true. Um but you also have to think for Kansas, I tell you what. Bill's self-suspended right now. I'd really hate to see what, what team... What did he do again? Uh, I think it had to do with his recruiting. Oh, I believe he got suspended. It was a it was a university uh, indicated. It was the university suspended, not the NCAA. So. There you go, Bill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bill. Um, so, Bill. So WVU, Bill. they have some tough... There is... WVU, if they play Portland State, you know, they, they beat them. But this one's practically uh, Phil Knight. I'm, you know... Yeah. Uh... I would love to play Both Portland Phil State Knight. instead oh. of uh, Purdue, but I think this WVU team can can beat Purdue. Um, yeah, I hope the way that they've oh, yeah, been playing. Let's see. Right. Like this Very is like possible. if we yeah if we do we get at least a run and we're gonna be legit. Like, um, actually, matchup predictor on ESPN has WVU fifty point eight and Purdue forty nine point two. Oh my god! Point, it was forty nine point like nine last night for us, and now it's up. Um, what? So. Y- Purdue has beaten Milwaukee, Austin P, and Marquette. Those are not flexes. Marquette might is a little bit, but the other two not so much. No, uh, no. no, not so much. I have not heard of any of those. Um, schools. Marquette's a decent school down in the Big East. Yeah, Mar- oh, okay. Marquette. They're they're, they're usually they a beat us contender last year. as well. They snapped our undefeated streak at the beginning of the season last year. Really? Yeah, and then after that it was. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was I was actually at West Virginia when they beat when Marquette beat us mm. in my hotel. You had the bad luck. Um. So. Shut yeah. Up, so, hmm? so shut up. This Phil Knight Legacy, this tournament is, uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough win. It's gonna it, be it, I do not think we're gonna win this tournament. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't expect to win this tournament, but I would love to at least win, win one game. game. I would love to win one game, and I mean, I would love to win the first round. Well, game even if we lose the first, because game, because you, you still, still get another play, game. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to play for seventh place no. or fifth place. No. This isn't F one. I want to play for third place. Or second place, second place. Third, or first, first place. place. First yeah, place. You know what? First place, I'll take. But no. Um, I, I feel like if this team, they play the best if they spread the floor. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, if you spread the floor like they were kind of doing last night, and that's when they got on their roll. Mm-hmm. That's how they can beat Gonzaga. You spread yeah, the floor. If we play if we beat Purdue, we had to play Drew Timmy. That's Drew Timmy, what a guy. We're gonna have to play Grady Dick when you play Kansas. And that kid came off the bench in the second half yesterday and just, that was, what was it, the final two minutes? Kansas is very good. Yeah, kind of good. So is Gonzaga. Kansas scares me. Um, So, yeah, so WVU is going to take, they're going to travel to Portland, Oregon over Thanksgiving break. They're going to have a tough test, but they need tough tests beginning of the year because if they can show that they can stand with these teams, they're going to have an all right Big 12 season. So, um, So, yeah, Big 12, or not Big 12, but WVU basketball, Huge. There you go. That, that's that's it. it. So, uh, for the like of Andy, I guess we can talk about the cap, the Champions uh, Classic last night. Um, 
That Michigan State Kentucky game was. Great game. Well, was I didn't yeah. think it was ever going to end. No, no. no. Um, we were on the PRT coming back from the Coliseum, and we're watching that game. And we're it just like, it just shows Michigan State's obviously top twenty five team. Oh yeah. Exactly. In my opinion, they're a top ten team. Well, they almost beat Gonzaga. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, it's just it's. I don't know. Um, and then the other game, Duke. Would you all quit? You know the camera can see it, right? He, I'm what? aware, but he keeps kicking. And I can hear foot. every time you pound in the floor. Right, we're done. I can hear it. We're done, Camden. So, Camden, what are your all's initial thoughts on Kentucky, and Michigan State? Uh, I mean, Michigan State's better than people think. Mm-hmm. Kentucky might not be as good as people think. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I think this Michigan State team. They're going to be in the rankings next week, obviously. They ha- no, they have to be. Uh, they, they're, almost they're, beat, they almost beat Gonzaga. They, yeah. Well, I mean, Kentucky seemed pretty... I mean, they were up a grand majority of... of the Gonzaga the, game. Of the, both the Gonzaga game and the Michigan State game, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. They trailed for a long time in the Kentucky game, but they still found a way to win. I, somehow, but... Um, but, I mean, Michigan State definitely... Uh, Definitely turned some heads, uh, at least from last night's game. Mm. Uh, they were turning heads, you know, for that Gonzaga game. But you're right; they they definitely it's, it's have turned definitely some heads a, now. A helping factor. Um, I just I think, and I I say this every year, uh, Kentucky is always usually overrated at the beginning of the year. Um, it's either Kentucky or Duke that's extremely overrated. Um, Duke, I do not believe they're overrated. Um, I just think Kansas is good. I think Kansas is, you know, they're, they're the reigning national champs. So that's yeah, true, but still, um, those are two really good teams. So yeah, I picked Arizona to win last year. Um, another team that's off to a slow start, a very very slow start, Louisville. Louisville. So you pointed that game out last night and how they almost came back. Yikes. Did you see the end of that game? <laughs> so what happened? They Louisville drove in the drove in the paint with like five seconds left. And their point guard went up for a layup, and he got it. And it was going to be 62-61. They went and reviewed it. The ball was on his fingertips as the buzzer went off. Oh, no. No basket. No basket. That's how Happy State won. Ugh. So wow. they have lost wow. three games this year. Um, and it has not been uh, very easy. Uh, they they started off the season against Bellarmine, got beat by one, 67 Bellarmine. Same thing. Oh, this is actually a nice little fact. All of their losses have been one point losses. Louisville's? Yes. Seventy three seventy two to Wright State and sixty one sixty to Appy State. And guess who they got to play on the twenty first? Number nine ranked Arkansas. So if you can't hang with those three. You are most certainly no, not hanging with Arkansas. Something really wrong here. Um, fishy. So, Louisville obviously finds himself sitting at the very bottom of the ACC standings currently. Uh, um, so, yeah. You can't really do much, though, about it now. So, that yeah, that's that's one team that I'm kind of surprised about. Louisville was just number one in the country a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's college. It's crazy what... Change like that. Yeah, it's crazy what happens. Um, so tonight, as we're recording on Wednesday, tonight, a uh, few games to look at. In about 15 minutes, Michigan plays Pittsburgh. Like Isn't Bellarmine the school that got screwed last year? They won their conference run, but they still didn't get a bid, though, because it was their first year as a Division One school. I believe so. But that's in any role in any sport. I mean, look at James Madison in football. James Madison currently, right now, could win the Sun Belt East. But by NCAA rule, they cannot compete for their conference tournament nor have a bowl game. Why? It's just the it's rule. The I don't know why. Yeah, I think it is stupid. But it's so the rule. A lot of things um, are stupid in this world. Yeah. Batman rules rule. Tennessee, number 22 Tennessee plays Florida Golf Coach. 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 Oh, coach. my Lord. Florida Golf Coast. Um, I would not count Florida Golf Coast out. Probably. I feel like that's another team that's... No. Um, no. Houston plays Texas Southern relevant? tonight. Um, but the game of the night, number two Gonzaga takes on number 11 Texas tonight. Ooh. I like Texas. I like Texas I as well. It's at Austin. I, I like Texas, and I surely hope Gonzaga gets beat before West Virginia. No, no. Uh, I'd love to be the first team to take down Gonzaga, but I really hope that you know Texas yeah. finds what you know. Maybe Texas will send a little phone call over to Bob Huggins. Hey, here's what. Here's how you beat them. They won't do that. No, they would never. They hate us. Yeah. So. I hate them. 
you. So, so yeah. So that there's our little college college basketball uh, breakdown. So I will say this. So Monday morning, you know, I wake up, check my phone, get on Twitter, and I see a tweet. <laughs> That's a great way to start your morning. I see a tweet that says Shane Lyons has been fired as AD of West Virginia, and I sit there thinking, what? And then you text me. I text Andy. I was like, dude, they just fired the athletic director. And I was like, yo. And then I was like, Griffin. <laughs> yo. Griffin comes to class. Griffin sits down. I said, Griffin, do you see what they just did? Like literally an hour ago. Um, so yeah, so Shane Lyons, who's been at West Virginia since 2015, um, has been relieved of his duties. Uh, obviously, it's a combination of budget issues and obviously the world champion football team, Mountaineers, having a great season. <laughs> um, <coughs> Neil Brown. So Sorry. they are obviously not satisfied that he just signed Neil Brown to an extension. <laughs> yeah, that that shows they really, they really kind of were like, yeah, that was an awful idea. You're gone. Instead of firing Neil, they were like, yeah, you're gone. We're, you know, they don't want to give him another shot. Yeah, um, thanks for the jumbotron in the, in the Coliseum. Take it and leave. They would have probably fired Neil Brown though if he did not win this week. But they oh, actually. I will say we were all wrong. Oh, and I am so happy that we were all wrong. I will be honest with you. Um, I am so happy as well. Um, so the school announced that Lyons um, was re- he'll be replaced by Rob Alsop, who this is what shows you. So he is the current vice president of strategic initiatives. So it shows you here or yes. Okay. So they their intern the 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 person that's going to take over for right now does not work in the athletic department. That shows you that they are going outside of the department to hire. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, it's interesting of what you know what's going to happen. Um, so I want to ask you all your your thoughts. Who do you think would be a good replacement for? I don't know Shane. Lines? I don't know athletic directors. Yeah, I have no so clue. I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> so a lot of people don't know. A lot of people have said LSU's athletic director, um, which he has. He fight. has a great connection to a guy by the name of Coach O, that could happen to to, to take to take I a. Mean, coach O's not taking the coach coaching job at West Virginia University. I mean, if they offer him enough money, trust me, we all said Coach O wouldn't retire yet. They offered him enough money, and he did. I mean, it would be kind of. If he though. misses the game, he'll come back. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying if he misses the game, he'll come back. He misses what game? Misses the game of football. football coaching? Oh. Coaching. Yeah, he misses coaching. Play, yeah. He um, comes back and play. So, and then another guy, he which I was kind of talking to Andy, and I was listening to um, listen to a radio show uh, or a podcast the other day. Um, I'm, wow, this is not working. My tabs did not, wow, okay. Um, so... Another guy that um, Oregon's athletic director. He is a. Um, I'm just not even gonna search it up. There we go. There it is. He is the. Um, oh my god! I'm, I'm Spit trying. It <laughs> Spit it out, Quinn. I'm Set trying to get. He's what? Here we go. Rob <laughs> Mullins is um, a WVU graduate. Oh. And is also a West Virginia native. Mm. But I will say, it, the last West Virginia native they hired was Shane Lyons, and we saw how great of a job he did. Mm. Um, but obviously, Rob Mullins, the only issue with him is they just signed him to a big contract extension. So you'd have to offer him a lot, a lot of things to come, but I would assume that he would be one of the top. Mm. One of the top choices for... Um, top choices, but it's extremely expensive. And I'll also say this, though. The committee that is searching for the new athletic director is not... They do not work for West Virginia. Hmm. Um, so the committee... This was... I listened to the press conference um, to find more information to talk about this. Uh, the committee that is hiring the new athletic director is the same committee who hired the Big 12 commissioner. Um, and they, they wanted that... That cr- that crew because they want to get a guy that is just a guy or girl that is just like the Big Twelve commissioner and that can work with the Big Twelve commissioner very well. So that's what they're smart. gonna try to do, and it's smart. Um, 
So they said it's going to take three to four weeks, which I would assume then gives them the window to fire Neil Brown. Um, they did not come out and say the university is going to fire Neil Brown. They came out and said that the new athletic director will evaluate the program. So if he sees, you know, something in Neil, he's going to keep Neil, and it is what it is. You know, we can't do anything about it. But I just don't see a new athletic director coming in to a school that's got a mediocre football program. Um, what are they, five and six now? Yeah, they're uh, five and six now, correct? No, no four no, and six. No, four and six, got to win a two f- more. They most likely, I, I would hope, finish the season at six and six. Mm-hmm. I would love that. Um, so say they finish the season six and six. Mm-hmm. They come in and they barely got to six and six. What athletic director is going to come in and be like, oh, I'm going to keep this coach. He's a great coach. No guy's going to do that. He wants to hire somebody himself. That's usually how the that's usually how it goes. So who knows? Um, we'll see how things go. Um, yeah. So we'll just see how things go um, with that. Um, but yeah, I would I would find it extremely funny to have Coach O at West Virginia. Oh, come on, dude. That would be. It'd be they, something for no, sure. No, it'd be funny. I don't see it happening. I don't either. Um, I don't um, because obviously it's a long shot. But at the same time, if you get LSU's athletic director, then hey, it's not bad. It you know it's possible. So, but I'll tell you this right now. WVU got a pretty big win over this this past weekend. Very. Mm-hmm. Um. 23-20 over the Oklahoma Sooners. The first time the world champion Mountaineers have defeated Oklahoma in Big 12 play. Uh, Big, Big 12. Third time God. in history. Uh, Oklahoma is currently sitting at 5-5 five and five, um, after the loss to the Mountaineers. Currently sitting at 2-5 and five in conference. Wow. The mm-hmm. same conference record as West Virginia. Can you believe that? Mm-hmm. That's, so cool. That's if there, it, it, I was going into this game saying this, but if there was a, if there was a year to beat Oklahoma... It'd be this year. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And I think um, it was last week, too. Mm. Yeah, th- obviously. Um, so, the big speculation around this game and coming into this week's game is, who is Neil Brown going to start at quarterback? Yes. Green. Thoughts? Garrett. Mm-hmm. Please, for the love of God, start Garrett. Probably. Because. I mean, he can't not. Like. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he I, just beat, he single-handedly beat the Sooners. I know, he did. And, and he also, single-handedly like, like, took yeah. it in into the his game, hands. And prior, also, he throws him out for, like, one drive, and that was, like, instant touchdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, come on. Um, So, here, I don't know if you all want to hear this or not. Probably oh, not. Sure, dude. Um, sure. So, here is who the depth chart that Neil Brown released has a quarterback. Ooh. Quarterback number one is JT Daniels. Okay. Mm-hmm. Quarterback number two is Garrett Green. Mm-hmm. Number three is Nico. Will Crowder or Nico Marchio. But Neil Brown said in his press conference yesterday this. He is prepping both JT and Garrett Green to play as mm-hmm. well as giving Nico Marchio snaps. So is Neil Brown going to do this crazy thing where he says he's not going to announce a quarterback to, before the game? And Nico comes out and starts to throw Kansas State totally off. I that would not be surprised because I feel like he's, he's he's desperate. That would be actually um, insane. At the same time, you're gonna prep Nico because if you're gonna because if you're gonna need him, you can use him now because he'll get his red shirt now. That now that he's only you know because you can play up to three games. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I here's what I think he will do. I think J T. Daniels will go out and start mm-hmm. um, because it wasn't necessarily what J T. was doing. Mm-hmm. I just think. Considering the weather conditions, he just yeah. he can't get anything rolling. And he, Lord knows that he's going to get hurt if, if he runs. That's just, I mean, we've seen him get hurt all the time. So right. um, so he's obviously, that played a factor as he needed a quarterback who can run, and Garrett Green can do that. The only thing with Garrett Green is, Garrett Green's only 5'11". He's short. Yeah. he's short. And he can't really throw over some of those linemen. He you can't, can't throw over see, something. He, he can't, can't see, see down the field. Trying to be in short, Quint. A lot. And, and yeah, quarterback, there's a lot. When, when you're a quarterback, you, when you're a quarterback, you have to be 6'2", 6'1". You can't six, one. see over your O-linemen. Now. Yeah. You can't throw it anyway. Um, and those O-linemen are freaking huge. In the Big 12, they're huge. So it's going to really matter this week as to who 
Who's going to bring their A game? I, I would expect Garrett Green's obviously going to get snaps. There's no way he doesn't. Um, I would love to see maybe even a, a two-quarterback system. You I get know. in the red zone. Yeah, that's what, that's like what we that's what last year. At JT, not JT, but at Georgia, when Jake Fromm and Justin Fields were there, that's what they'd do. Jake Fromm would take him down the field, and if they they were in the red zone and it got to like third down or it got to second down, they didn't think Jake could get into the end zone. Mm-hmm. They'd throw Justin Fields in there because Justin Fields can run. So I would like to see something like that. that I think cool. I, I think the um, I think Bama did the same thing uh, last year with um, Mac Jones and uh, uh, Bryce Young. Uh, it was Jalen Hurts and Bryce Young. Oh, it was. When, it was Jalen Hurts last year at Alabama and Br- was it Bryce Young? Hurt? No. Because they didn't do a two quarterback Hurts with Mac. Second year. They did not do a two quarterback. Alabama. Yeah, yeah, they did not do a two quarterback Mac with Jones Mac. And yeah, Mac Jones. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was Mac Jones. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure they did a two quarterback, two quarterback I'm, I'm, system? Briefly. Briefly. Okay. It was for a short period of time, but I know, I know they Michigan, did it. Put the Michigan game on. Oh yeah. Go ahead, Andrew. I mean, I, it's something that you know the Tide has done, and you know being the the. The token uh, Alabama fan. Um, I mean, it it worked for them for for having you know a a quarterback that can run Bryce Young and a quarterback that can throw the ball pretty dang well in Mac Jones. Mm-hmm. You, just, you I mean with I mean comparatively speaking. I mean right now he's. Well, I mean I mean right now, but back then. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, look at look, look at Trevor Lawrence at the beginning of the NFL oof, season, oof. and then you got when he was at at uh, Clemson. Oof, but that's not oof. here nor there. What I'm trying to say is, you could have your guy who can run at WVU in Garrett Green, and then you have your guy that can throw the long ball, mostly, and then, um, or and you can have him start in GD Daniels, and then you could also have. Just a wild card in there, just to throw everyone off. And Nico, which I would find both hilarious and amazing at the same time, because it would be fun. with with the balls that uh, that Neil Brown would have to throw him out, I'm not sure Neil has balls. If he wants to do that, um, we'd he'd have to have to work. If it doesn't work, so I th- like I said, I think the reason yeah. you're prepping Nico, there's obviously two just, factors: the red shirt rule. That's obviously a factor. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're in the final stretch now. I can play Nico, and I can still get him back a year. Um, but also. You have Nico go in there and add a spark, add a distraction. Yeah, it's just yeah. something. Um, so something, something to switch it up. Um, I'm about to say we're. Big, so big guy. I think J T. Daniels will be the starter when they go out of that and they get you know mm-hmm. get set on the field. J T. Daniels will be the starter. Um, for sure. But Garrett Green will definitely play, and Neil said that he's earned his right. At rightfully yeah. so. Mm-hmm. I mean, he yeah. led the team in literally passing and rushing. And heck, if you let him, he probably could have led the team in receiving as well. But mm-hmm. um, go out there and throw. He's lined up a receiver before. Yeah. If you let it, if you give him a whole game to do that, I bet you he could lead the team. He, he was damn good too. Yeah. He was running all over him. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you have to consider that JT wasn't necessarily playing bad. Um, his one interception actually, I think, was a smart interception. Yeah, honestly, because if he'd have took in the sack right there, they'd have been closer to the end zone. But him throwing it away mm-hmm. got them pushed back Basically, farther. I feel like it was a smarter Basically, interception. Like we were at the game. We're like, that is so dumb. It's actually kind of and smart. then yeah, I was like, that is so stupid. But at the same time, it's so smart. So you know, I'm not. Sh- I don't think he meant to do that. But if he did, hey, props to you, JT. That's a smart move. Props. Smart. Um, so West Virginia obviously got it done, um, but this weekend they got a big test. It's not looking good. Um, no, but I'll say this: they and this weekend definitely proved it. They play a thousand times better at home. A oh, thousand times better at home. Sure. And I think well, if there is any chance for them to make an upset with either mm-hmm. Kansas State or Oklahoma State, I feel like they have a better shot against Kansas State. For sure. Any move, I want to see the TV. Um, I feel like. Just scoot the chair to the right. I feel like the the team is motivated now. Uh, wow. Just continue. Just continue. Excuse you. Excuse you. I'm excused. Um, I feel like they're they're in a they're in a mo- They have motivation now, and they're not quitting, which is which is a great sign to see. Um, it's also going to determine though as to which quarterback for Kansas State plays. Um, no. I'm I'm hearing Martinez is out. He's hurt, mm. but it has not been confirmed. Um, and I think part of that could be 
Kansas State doesn't want to confirm it because they're going to want West Virginia. Because if you get a 4-6 yeah. team and you make them prepare for two quarterbacks, you're going to get them all jumbled, and then right, yeah. that's how you beat them. Smart decision. Um, so we'll see what happens. What are you doing down there, dude? Playing with a sticker. Stop sorry. that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so, so we'll see what happens. Um, I know me and Griffin are going to the game. I am. Um, we're staying, I'm not. even though WV is kicking us out on Friday, which I think is. They're not kicking me out. I'm paying fifty yeah. bucks to stay. <laughs> well, I mean, Stupid. essentially, I'm paying. My dad's paying because we're staying in a hotel, so essentially, we're still paying somebody money. Is your mom coming too? Yeah, my mom's coming too. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So. Um, actually, the spread is only seven and a half. Oh, wow. That's... And I, that that obviously... The, what's the over-under? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 54. Oh, my. Oh, that's a lot of points. That's oh. a lot of points. Oh, you missed. Um, so I think if it is not going to be <coughs> a mixture of snow and rain and wind, West Virginia can it's play a lot snow? better. No, it's not. Oh, it's going to be just... 35 degrees. Oh. And <laughs> yeah. It, just, uh, it just yeah. better not rain. Yeah. It it rain. Yeah. If it rains, I'm leaving. I don't care. I'm well, not doing well, it again. Hey, I'm sitting in a suite, so. Oh, why are you? Oh, well. well you getting tea served, too, do you? That, that yeah, you're honestly, bringing me tea. That would honestly be great. Right. Can I sit in the seats if I give you tea? <laughs> um, oh, my God. It's a low 22. I thought, I thought you like being up close. I do. You can be up close. So, yeah. Um, me and Quinn are going to sit next to each other. Just We're just going to yell. Yeah, so, hey, yo, so where I'm uh, sitting hey, yo, Quinn, you come out is here? right. I'm sitting right above the band, and so uh, he's gonna be in the lower section. So we'll be right see. there. So, so yeah. Um, so, what what do you all think West Virginia has to do in order to win this basketball game or we basketball have, game? Bet. I'm watching basketball, we, football game. We have to play defense. Yeah, yeah. That's been the yeah. whole. If we that's been it all season. season. Yeah. We can't stop them once. We're not gonna win. Uh, your secondary's got to get better. Oh, wait, to mm-hmm. be more secondary precise, has to be good. You can't rely on your offense because, as it's shown, the offense can fall through. Mm-hmm. And at the beginning, it did against um, uh, Oklahoma and JD Dan- and JD Daniels. But ah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Uh, I definitely think that though they, they if they play the way they did last week, defense plays the way they did. Neil Brown has said this from day one. You gotta. There's two things, maybe three, but I, I only remember two. One, you gotta you gotta win the turnover battle. Can't win a football game without. Which somehow they won last week without winning the turnover battle. Two, you gotta play on your A game for all three phases. Oh, yeah. Of the football. So, um. Yeah. I, special teams has got to be on point. Defense has got to be on point, and offense has got to be able to put up points as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, so we'll obviously predict that game later on. We will. Um, predict it. Predict so it. this past weekend, uh, in the top twenty-five, some games. Griffin, what are some games that you know? I look out for. I, TCU in Texas. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a great game. Texas hang. They weren't really hanging with them there. Mm-hmm. And then they then they got a field goal. There was um, amazing. I think um, a lot of people expected Texas to play better than TCU just because Texas is Texas and TCU doesn't yeah. have good of a reputation. But TCU, there, yeah. TCU yeah. played good. I mean, this um, year, the TCU has definitely gotten a, a boost in. Well, yeah, but they don't have the reputation no. that a school like yeah. Texas does. Okay, no. fair enough. Um, another one that really that Alabama Ole Miss game lived up to what it you know what everyone it's thought it'd be. They're gonna win. Um, yeah, but I I I was really like. I was pulling for Ole Miss to win. I really would we love that. Um, I love Lane Kiffin. He's the only head coach I follow on Instagram. Another yeah. game that was really – was sure. the North Carolina Wake Forest game. That game was going oh back and forth. Crazy. I never, I didn't watch that game. Oh, my gosh. It, they were going back and forth. It was – that one was a good game as well. Um, and another one was UCF and Tulane. That one was another good game um, mm-hmm. as well. Um, and another one – Notre Dame almost getting beat by Navy. Yeah, because they're overrated. Notre Dame is not good. They didn't I'm lose. Saying, they did not. No, they did I not. Was, I was sad. That but they, they almost did. T- oh my god! It, it also good. doesn't help though that Navy put up 16 points in the fourth quarter. That's a lot of points for one quarter. For and for a triple option offense to put up. Wait, so one was, two, was that two touchdowns to two two point conversions? Was Correct. That scoring? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So that kind of. Uh. Oh, I did not <laughs> see this. Wow. Okay, 
Uh, Vanderbilt Ooh, beat yeah. Kentucky. They did beat yeah, they, at they, Kentucky. They, they they did. I saw that coming. Out. At Kentucky. You didn't yeah. see that coming. I did. You didn't, you didn't predict that. Name one player on Vanderbilt's roster. I don't know anyone on Kentucky's James, roster either. James Vanderbilt. You don't know one player on Kentucky? Nope. Will Levis? Never heard of him. Quarterback? <laughs> Never. A quarterback? He's transferred from Penn State. And so, Andy, while you're looking that up, mm-hmm. you just want to go ahead and give us... Yeah, the scores. Let's give us scores score. from last week. Honestly, I'm actually quite happy with with the way this turned out. Mm-hmm. From I from, from yeah. Owen, <laughs> we're like zero and fifteen. Everyone is. Yeah. From from last week of how we we were all basically going to the same me thing. Here. Huh? Something tells me you won. No, I actually. <laughs> oh. Um. So Cam. So Cam came in first like, um, again. Once again. With uh, sixteen games. Uh, Yes, correct. You don't watch That's football. Insane. You don't. Sixteen you... games, buddy. Wait, what was it? Sixteen. How many wrong? Well, here. Oh, just do do I the mean, math. Sixteen is good. Out of what? Twenty. Wait here. Here, hold on. Let me check. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-one. So sixteen and sixteen out of twenty-three. Not bad. I'm, Not bad. I'm crazy, dude. Not it's, bad. Just keep going. Not bad. Uh, I came in second. Uh, oh, my God, dude. 15, no, <laughs> what? 15 for 15. We'll probably tie again. Actually, no. <laughs> oh. Quit. I'm in third, aren't I? Please. I'm in third, aren't I? Please. With 14 games guessed correctly, Griffin came in third. <sighs> Thank you. And Quinn came in fourth with 13. Oh, so it's really close. So, 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 no. the, it's so, so close. the numbers, the numbers on this were 16, 15, 14, 13. 16. Well, that's actually it, it's actually pretty good. Insane. I'll take last I place if it's that it. close. I, I would just I mean, hate yeah, to get like I, said, I, I hate to be the host of this podcast and get absolutely I was, I, obliterated. I was extremely happy with the way this turned out. Oh yeah, I'm extremely happy. All right, so oh my. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> okay. What you watching there, Cam? Madden clips? Yeah. Madden. Alright. Cam only so, plays Madden. Game sleeps. number one. This one takes place one? Thursday That's night at 7.30 on ESPN. SMU at 21 ranked Tulane. Are we picking this? Yes. Oh. You know. I, you know what? Okay, I'm going to say this because I say it every week. Griffin, we are predicting every top 25 team, every game. Even if it's a blowout. So I'm saying this now before you start complaining because you, 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 I've gone back and watched. You've complained every week. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so notice that now, okay? Yeah. So, yes, should, we are predicting this game. 7.30 on Thursday. SMU against 21-ranked Tulane. I'm going with SMU. Oh, really? Really? Yep. No breakdown? Nope. Well, I'm... Well, take for what it is. All right, Camden? I was going to go SMU. I like horses. Uh, they're not horses, they're Mustangs. Horses literally are Mustangs. I mean... Mustangs oh. are cars. <laughs> what? Mustangs are horses. And cars. And cars. Yeah, and cars. Well, and I mean, horses. I mean, a cobra is a car, but it's also a snake. You're a car. Dude. I mean, I am... Pick the game. A griffin is a bird lion thing, and you. It's an so. eagle lion. Bird lion. And bird, griffin. Are birds eagles? All right, let's go. Pick the game, dude. Okay, okay. I'm going with the it's wave. Bird of All right? How about that? Pick the game, Quinn. Pick the game. I'm going to go the wave. All right. All right. Let's go. You would go with the wave. Um, I'll save this one for last. Ooh, my goodness. All right. Navy's got him another test. 11 a.m. on Saturday. Probably picking this game. (laughs) You just said that to be funny, didn't you? (laughs) Navy at number 20 ranked UCF. Hmm. UCF. 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 Yeah, UCF. See, I want to go with the midshipmen. No, you do don't. It. Don't do it. Just do it. No, do fine, it every week. Two weeks in a row, I'm going with the midshipmen. I really thought he was going to pull it off last week. I really did. Yeah, um, they did. I was. I, I I checked that this morning. I'm like, if they were going to pull it off, it would be against. It would be against Notre Dame. All right, next game. That's <laughs> true. At no, noon. Go Army, be Navy. On ABC. Why are we even picking this game? <laughs> Number three, Michigan hosting the Fighting Island. Seriously, why are we picking this game? Michigan. 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 Across the board. Did you say the Fighting Irish? or Illini. Oh, Illini? I, yes. It's okay. Illinois. Michigan. Illinois. Okay. Just well, Michigan. Then, okay, well then, I'm just going to pick the, the, the Harbaugh's and, and Michigan. The next game. 
noon Dude. on Fox number four TCU at Baylor. Um, go to TCU. Horn, go to TCU. Horned Frogs. Yeah. Uh, super Frog the rest. And I would just like to point out, we are now into this point of the season where the SEC schools start playing the FCS schools. Number eight, Alabama. Oh, wow. This is unfortunate. Alabama doesn't get a national TV spot. They're on ESPN+. Plus. Number eight, Alabama hosting the 7-3 and three, Austin P. Uh, roll Tide. This is rough. Um, I'm going to go Alabama. Yeah, I'm going to go Alabama. Uh, roll, roll Tide. tide. Next game, number 19, Florida State hosting the Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns. Mm. Who are they playing? They're Louisiana like... Lafayette. No, who are they playing? Florida, Florida State. State. Oh, yeah, Florida State. Yeah, Florida State. I mean, the Raging Cajuns did beat Marshall that one time. Florida State. Dude, Marshall. beating Marshall's not much of an accomplishment at this point they in the season. They beat Marshall that one time, so they got a chance. They're still 5-5. Five and five. They still have a worse record than Marshall. I'm picking and Marshall still has a... You know, Florida State. Yep, yeah, Florida State. Next game, number 23, Oregon State at Arizona State. Ooh. Give me Arizona State. I'm also going to go Arizona State. Ugh. No. No. Mm-hmm. Arizona State's record is 3-7. and seven. Right. I'm going to have to go Oregon State. Yep. Give me, give me Arizona State. Give me the Beavs. Yeah, go Beavs. What do they say in Arizona State? Is that, is that like... Uh, Forks up or something? Pokem. Like that, or? Something like that. It's Forkham. Oh Forkham. my god, Pitt's winning. What the heck? It's by three points. Yeah, it's three a basketball points. game. God. I'm relax. Switch to the bench. Next game. Down. Why are we picking this, dude? <laughs> Boston College at number 18, Notre Dame. Give me Boston College. Oh, yeah, no, I hate Notre Dame. I'm going Call Notre Dame. Boston. Give me a Boston College. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Give me a Boston second. College, dude. Great. Boston and they're playing who? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame I'm going to Boston College. I'm going to Notre Dame. Boston. You're going Notre Dame? I am going Notre Dame. <laughs> Dang. Why is that? Boston College is the upset. I know. I want them to upset. Why are we picking this next game, dude? Oh. Who did you pick? Who did huh? you pick? He picked, he, picked Dame. Dame. he picked Boston. No, I picked Notre Dame. <laughs> Get out of here. Next. Next game, number, number one, Georgia. Kentucky. Georgia. Georgia. There's no question. Yeah. Doggy. Ruff, ruff. And, what? um, on 3.30, at, on 3.30, at 3.30 on ABC, number two, Ohio State, at Maryland. OSU. Yep. Give me the Buckeyes. OSU. Uh, Give me the Buckeyes. I still think they're going to win the national championship, so. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. What are you doing? All right, yeah, quit. Don't do that. I'm just not going to go in this chair. But, yeah, um, I'm not going to leave you on the, on the edge of your seat anytime yeah. longer. Next. Uh, oh, 3.30 on ESPN. Miami at Clemson. 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 Yeah. Clemson. <laughs> I'm just going to roll. I'm just going to go right to the next game. Oh, my God. 3.30 on Big Ten Network. Number 11, Penn State at Rutgers. Penn State. Penn State. Penn State. Penn State. I really want to go Rutgers, but I'm not. We are. I, I do it. Though. I'm not doing it. Do it. Come on. No, I'm not doing do it. Do it at least once. But we no, are. Do, do, it. do it one time. We Penn are. State. Penn State. Penn State. You didn't say, you say you're welcome. 3.30. You got to mm-hmm. say you're welcome. Here we go. You're dude. welcome. Thank you. 3.30 on ESPN. 3. Number 24, NC State at Louisville. Uh, NC State. Give me Louisville. NC, State. NC State. Give me Louisville. Ooh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, next game, 4 o'clock, ESPNU, 25 Cincinnati Bearcats at Temple. Bearcats by 100. Shout Bearcats by 90. Yeah, shout out Avery. <clears throat> shout out Avery. Yeah, give it up for Avery. Yeah, just shout out Avery. She's actually supposed to come to the Kansas State game, and then we found out that I'm getting kicked out of my dorm, so well, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. 5.30 ESPN2, Georgia Tech at number 13, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. North Carolina, they're just still they're still playing great football. I agree. I think they're the best team in the I see. think they should be a lot higher than 13. The rankings, yeah. Mm-hmm. Be they're one lot. The, the, one lot the rankings are rigged. They only like the SEC. Mm-hmm. I agree. We need a better ranking system. I agree. Let's, let's make our own ranking system. Yeah, you know what? PRT boys ranking system. Number that's, one, West Virginia. That's who. That's 
who's going to be the college football playoff is our rankings. I agree. Yeah. West Starting next season, 2023. Here, you heard it here first. 7 p.m. on ESPN. Number five, Tennessee at South Carolina. Tennessee. 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 Mm-hmm. South Carolina is not playing good football right now. Tennessee. I'm going to go South Carolina. Of they're, course. They're at oh, SC? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to go SC in an upset. Oh. No. Dude, no. dude, it's 21 and a half. They had a good win earlier, didn't they? Against who? South Carolina had a good win earlier. What, against Vanderbilt? No, they had a good win. Against who? Let me look it up. Oh. No. 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 Literally Kentucky, no one. Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky. Right. Kentucky. They already yeah, lost right. to Georgia 40 yeah, yeah, Tennessee. You're right. Nah, yeah. uh, all right. Okay. okay. Thank you because I tried to do this last week and you did not appreciate me last week no. doing that. No, oh, he, no. I just he picked lost. whatever. Put, put him as good. Hang on, guys. That's Tennessee. No, you did not. Dude. I changed my mind. No, no oh, get, get back to that. Tennessee. The Wolverines. Go dude, the well, thanks to you making me go check, you know. Check what? It. ESPN is currently frozen. <laughs> I'll just get it on my phone for the for the next couple games. One I can go off the top of my head. Kansas State at West Virginia. Gonna go. I. I'm gonna go with the Wildcats. I'm gonna Kansas go the Wildcats State. in a close one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't Kills be me. wrong. I'm gonna go There's Wildcats in a close one. There's a difference between wanting a team to win. And yeah. thinking that they're gonna win, I I want the Mountaineers to win, yeah. but I just don't think it's gonna happen. It might, it's gonna be close though. No, I mean it yeah. has a chance. So, so the next game, number fourteen, Ole Miss at Arkansas. Ole Miss. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. There's no. Yeah. Hotty toddy. Hotty toddy. Uh, next game, number twenty-two, Oklahoma State at Oklahoma. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Wow, they actually have Wait. Oklahoma predicted to win a seven and a half. I don't see that happening. Uh, me either. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Uh, the next game, this one is uh, I I've seen this one is sold out. They have sold out the Rose yeah. Bowl, USC against UCLA. Hmm. Number seven and number sixteen. USC. Yeah, I'm gonna go USC. I'm gonna go UCLA. I'll I'll take USC. Uh, LSU, UAB. LSU. I'm gonna go LSU. Yeah, I'm gonna go LSU. Yeah, close. Yeah. And mm, yeah, maybe. Wait, hold on. Can no. everyone can, can everyone say no. the picks again? Because I, I was for what LSU, LSU, UAB. Uh, LSU, 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 LSU. LSU all the way around, big guy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Washington and Colorado. Mm. Washington. Washington. Oh, this next one will be a good one as well. Ooh. Utah and Oregon. To finish off. Actually, not to finish off. I'm sorry. But, yes. There you go. Do you finish off? Mm-hmm. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Go. Go. Yeah? Go. Yeah. What were the teams? Yeah. Oregon. Oregon. Oregon? Oh, Oregon. Oregon and Utah. I want Oregon. I'm going to go Oregon. Mm. I'm going to go Oregon. It's Oregon. I'm going Utah. Yeah. Bo Nix gets destroyed. Uh-uh. No, I'm going to go Oregon. Utah. Ducks. Utah. Uh, and, then the, and then the final game, Marshall and Georgia Southern. Marshall. 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 Marshall, Marshall is starting to really come out now. Huh, yeah, sure. Actually, no, they really are. Cam know, fans, their quarter, like their quarterback, quarterback their quarterback. <laughs> they're going to get on the rankings in a second. They're looking like a top 25. Their quarterback, <laughs> their quarterback <laughs> was able to stay in the pocket and actually play, play better football. So, Marshall. They're going to be ranked. <laughs> they're going to be ranked. Yeah. Has Marshall ever been ranked? No. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. They ranked two seasons ago. Dude, really? they went undefeated two seasons ago. Really? Yeah, until the Conference USA Championship game. Yeah. Interesting. Got smoked. They've been they've been ranked multiple times. They have a sure. national championship. Really? Division one double A national championship with Randy Moss. Yep. <clears throat> Did not know that. Yep. Then they got smoked by us the next season. Huh? Well, they got smoked by WVU every season. They never once beat them. But you know, oh, NFL? Mm. yeah. We now go. we're on to the NFL segment. So, oh, let's, let's um, say who won first. so Griffin, you knew this was coming. You've been mentally My prepared. Favorite number I'm gonna is point 81. this out. I'm gonna point this out. The Washington Commanders have defeated two undefeated teams in the past. Well, Under no. the reins of Ron Rivera, correct? The Washington Redskins. Oh no, they were the Washington were football they? team when they beat the, the Steelers. Washington football team and the Washington Commanders. They have now defeated. Both undefeated Pennsylvania football teams. That's fair. 
Are you Except okay, Griff? The Eagles were actually a good team. Um, Steelers were not. <laughs> no, the Steelers, that was a fluke. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, how about Germany singing Country Roads? That was fun. No, I got a text from my mom. Uh, I, I was texting uh, my mom and my dad, and my mom sends me a video of that. I'm like, oh, that's actually like really cool. Like, I, I thought it was in England for a second. And I was like, oh, cool. I mean, the, the English, you know, doing, you know, country roads. And then my dad is like, um, it's in Germany, but I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I forgot about that. And then arguably game of the year. Not arguably. It has been game of the year so far. What Vikings was? and game Bills. Germany? No, Vikings and Bills. Oh, oh what? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was a crazy sequence. How do you go? Was, Josh Allen fumbles on the Josh goal Allen line. Josh Allen sucks. I mean, that's just crazy to me. So that was arguably game of the week. Josh Allen leads the um, picks. <laughs> Josh Allen sucks. So, terrible. He has seven in the past three games. Um, Jeff Saturday, living up to his tweet that he tweeted about two weeks ago. Huh? He, do you all see what he tweeted? Mm-hmm. The Raiders suck. Oh, yeah. They he lived up to it and defeated the Raiders. Twenty. Little did he know two weeks ago he'd be coaching. that he'd be coaching against the Raiders. Uh they won 25-20. Jeff Saturday getting his first win as an NFL head coach. The Packers finally getting a win um, over Dallas. That game was also good. That one that one really was. Um, Griffin, I'm, I'm going to say it just because it happened. Uh, the Commanders beating the Eagles. I get it. Um, I get it. It, it wasn't even a close but game. I, <laughs> Okay, no, it was a close no, game. No, that no, last no, touchdown. I'll reach over this table. You, I you, you subtract that last touchdown. That no, one was, was whatever. Was uh, that one was a good game. Um, and I will say Ron Rivera did just announce that Carson Wentz will not start this week. Mm-hmm. It will be Taylor Heineke. I think Taylor Heineke should be the starter. He's. I mean, the guy, what? He's he only was lost. He terrible against the Eagles. He was actually terrible. Zero touchdowns, one pick. What, two Still got yards? it done. He did not. He did not get it. Done. He still got the one win he done. He did not. McLaurin, eight receptions, 128 yeah. yards. That's pretty. That's literally half his receiving yards. That's pretty crazy. I'm sorry, but um, McLaurin just sounds like an off-brand McLaurin. It's just, it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of like McLaurin. The Steelers finally got him a win. Good I'm grief. <laughs> I really am too. I was really. Kenny, Kenny actually played a decent game he though. Did uh, 18 for 30. Game? No, he did not throw first a pick. First game a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Counterpoint. First game. If d- shut up. Kenny Pickett. Counterpoint, Kenny Pickett. Uh, Kenny Pickett, uh, <laughs> I was really hoping that he'd play a good game That's because game I went to go check my fantasy and noticed that uh, mm, Joe Burrow had a bye, so I had to play Kenny Pickett. And he actually got me 18 points this week. Um, so Kenny Pickett, 18 for 30, 199 yards. Um, but something else that happened was uh, – they also were able to run the ball this week, mm-hmm. so that's, that's big. big. Whenever um, you get Najee, you get your whole so I think, he is your whole team. yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> so if they do exactly what they did this week, I think they can still beat the Bengals because you got TJ back. You got TJ back. Ooh, um, actually. So you got TJ back. Um, even though they're out with Minka, Minka's replacement had a pick this week yeah. and was all over the field. So I think you know. Um, so yeah, you know, let's just go to week eleven. Let's just look. Are Tomorrow we, night, Titans are, and Packers. Are we, we going to skip over yet again? Oh, no, no. We're not doing predictions yet. We're just looking at the games. Of the, uh, okay. yeah, I'm yeah, waiting, not I'm waiting yet. for a thank you. Dolphins beat the Browns. Oh, the Dolphins like actually, did beat the Browns, did they? Yeah, yeah, did they? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at you go. Uh, so, Titans and Packers. That's tomorrow night. Um, that one ought to be a pretty pretty interesting game, actually. That'll be a good game. Um, it should be. Is Ryan? Yeah, Ryan Tannehill will start. Yeah. Um, I still wish Malik Willis would start, but that's just me. Um, let's see. Other games. Let's see. Mm, Eagles got the Colts this week. Griff, you want to add anything? Go Birds. Yeah, go Birds. That's all he's going to add. Um, you're undefeated away. So. Shut up! <laughs> what? You're undefeated <laughs> away. It's, it's true. Oh, 420. Do you know how many people... Do you know what happened uh, no. when we lost... What? I was trying to relax after I was upset and we lost. Fifteen people came to my room and made fun of me. Hey, and me, then well, another fifteen people. I, it's just part of the game. Another fifteen yeah. people called me. My best friend from high school was watching a movie. <laughs> he That's paused all. the movie. And just to call me. Well, it's because you were like you were talking so much about the Eagles being I, so. We were undefeated. What the? F- what do you mean? Exactly. So your first loss, you guys. I had the right. I had the right. 
None of us texted you. Yeah, we we, yeah. we, we talked about. We're like, should we? Text yeah, me and Cam. I was texting Cam. I was like, I was like. Okay, I will say this. I sent a text to all three of them. I said, Griff's on suicide watch. Yeah, I was. Um, yeah. I was so upset. I went to the vending machine in my dorm and got chips and just cried. It, it happens, though. Everyone it happens. It. And honestly... Except for the Dolphins. But. It's just great that it happened to the story of Taylor Heineke. Shut up. That is funny. You it's see funny. the new shoes he got this week? He did terrible. You see the new shoes he got this week? I don't care. They barely have green on them, by the way. It's just white. What's up with the shoes? Do you not know what he does? Mm-hmm. So every team he beats, since he... Like, you know, no one count. No one thinks he can win a game because he can't he sucks he <laughs> gets every team that he beats he gets night he gets jordans of that team's colors every week of the week prior yeah because he's gonna break his ankles in those shoes yeah do, do, does he Beach. wear on the does field he or, or like or i think clear? he wears them to the next game i think oh okay that's fine i think that's, that's, that's uh, not funny that's yeah, not funny Taylor Heineke, is not um, funny. i still i'll say that Every time I, Look at me, I play high school football. I would give you a lot of crap if you all got beat like heavily. Oh, Eleven points by them. Okay, but that last touchdown you completely <laughs> subtract. Well, that one should not have happened. See, Water would not have done that. Shut up. <laughs> um. So, Andy, hmm. predictions. What, yeah. what was the scores? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite. More cold, Um. So this week it was a bit more. Uh, it was. It's still close. There were a lot of curveballs this week. Um, with okay, hold on. How many how many games? Hold on, did we not okay. all say Vikings over Bills? I'm sorry. Go look. Vikings uh, over Bills. Vikings, Vikings all Bills. said Vikings over Bills. Um, Quinn and myself and Cam <laughs> said Vikings. You and all picked Vikings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I told you the Vikings are the real deal, That's dude. Jo- yeah, no. And, the and, field- I did not see that coming. Apparently <laughs> 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 not. My God, you were the guy who picked it. You, you, guys, uh, you get it. Anyways, so... Um, Wait, he picked what? He picked the Bills? Bills. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's what he's saying, yeah. Oh, okay. You had me worried there for a minute. Um, uh. Okay, so with nine games correct, uh, guessed correctly, Quinn has come first. There you go. Bitch. I finally won one! <laughs> one. Let's go. Um, that's how we do it, baby. second... Uh, Cam oh, guessed eight. I, do. I want Griffin to be last. Omega? Shamefully, oh. uh, myself and Griffin tied for third at seven. Oh. So you were last. It's even worse. Man, you took two L's. <laughs> the Eagles took an L and he took an L. Guess who took a win this week? But the Steelers and Quinn. And the Dolphins. And the Dolphins. Pins up. That's right. Pins up. Pins up. Yep. What? All right, tomorrow night on Amazon Prime, Tennessee Titans at the Green Bay Packers. I will be picking the Tennessee Titans. Mm. I think the Packers. I'm gonna take the Packers. They're at home. And with the Christian Watson, Watson, yeah, he's a breakout. He's gonna start throwing. I'm going Titans. Dude, you're stupid. Yeah, talk to me like that. Yeah, don't talk to him like that. My bad, dude. Don't Don't mess with an Eagles fan. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. Don't. We're angry people. Well, I mean, you guys do trash your city when you won the Super Bowl. Well, it was much... It was, it like was, say, it was more Let's say Tua Tagovailoa is the best Alabama That's quarterback currently. And a three for Pitt. Oh, wow. Oh, Shocker. Missed they it. missed it. Mm. Not Michigan. surprising. Why is Michigan going so much? So... The next oh, game... Oh, actually, because it's just up there because they're on my favorites. Uh, Bears and Falcons. Mm. Duh, Bears. Duh, Bears. Justin Duh, Fields is playing. Duh, Bears. The Bears. <laughs> He's running a little bit, but he's not throwing well. But he, he, he's still, they're still the others. Yeah, I go Bears. Yeah. Uh, next game, okay. 1 p.m. Browns versus the Bills. Mm. Give me the Browns. Let's all say it in unison. Okay. Bills. Bills. Browns. Josh Allen. Oh. You're actually going Browns? I'm Browns. I want the Browns. Did you see the weather? Josh Allen's not going to be able to throw the ball. Oh, that's true. Did you see the Run weather? The game is going to yes. win. 31 inches of snow in Buffalo predicted 31 this inches? Oh. Yes. Browns are going to win the game. I don't know why I high fived the snow. I don't, 31 <laughs> inches, That's dude. That's what I'm saying. Nick Chubb's going right? to It's 31, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Two feet. Mm-hmm. Two feet, yeah. What time is the yeah, game? Two feet. Roughly over two feet. What I mean. time is the game? Or no way. One o'clock. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Browns are going to win. 42 degrees, 31 inches of snow. Oh, my God. Snowball part that is, two. That is prime Buffalo. Okay, so I'll say this. I saw this stat today. The last time there was a blizzard in Buffalo, oh. and they played was the Bills and Colts. And the starting quarterback for the Colts was Jacoby Brissett. 
I think it's just Jacoby Brissett just brings the snow to Did Buffalo. Did he win? Huh? Did he win? Oh, I'm sure not. <laughs> I'm sure not. <laughs> Bills. 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 Browns? Are you still going Browns? I'm still going Browns. Idiot. <sighs> Loser. Dummy. Actually, the Dolphins won this week and Eagles lost. So I'm a winner. Yeah, You're a loser. Okay. Scoreboard? 8-1. Scoreboard. My, uh, I, I was ahead of you. Scoreboard? Both. both. In both. both. Shut up. Shut up. All right, let's go next All right, we're going to speed through these. Oh, God. 1 p.m. Eagles versus Colts. Eagles. Eagles. Give me Eagles. <laughs> go, Birds! Wait, wait, who do Eagles play? Colts. 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 Oh, okay, yeah, Birds. Jets and Patriots. Jets. Jets? Yeah, Jets. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, Jets. I forgot that Tom Brady moved for like half a second. He did. He's not there anymore. Um, he hasn't been there for a while. Um, now I'll take the Jets. Sauce Garner is just way too good right now. <laughs> I just wanted to do that to make everyone nervous. Rams and Saints. I'm going Saints. Hmm? Rams don't have Cooper Cup. He's on the IR. I'm going Rams. Rams. Rest in peace, my fantasy team. Wait, hold on. Can we just, That's why you take Justin Jefferson. Can we just talk about, like, if the season ended today, the Eagles would have the 31st pick and the 4th overall pick? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And we have the first, best record in the league. Can, I, can we just bring that up? Can we just talk about how good that is? Mm, well, it depends. Can you just acknowledge how awesome can that is? Can we just acknowledge that the Eagles just got beat? We yes. take it. And then next the week we can talk about the picks. Not next week. We won't have an episode next week. What? Yeah, we it's Thanksgiving break. We won't have a PRT episode. You lost to Taylor what? Heineke, who had threw a what? pick. What? We didn't have an episode next week? Yeah, no. Yeah, what no. a break. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, am gonna, what am I going to do? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have an episode next week? <laughs> Shit. It's like your only hobby. Dude, I'm just gonna act like you didn't just. Okay, next game, 1 okay. p.m. on Fox. Lions I and Giants. Shows Wait, my life. I didn't say it. I want Rams. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going with. Uh, Why don't you put uh, me in the Saints? What? You said. I could have sworn you said Saints. I, I said Saints. Well then, Saints. well then, yeah. Okay. Well, I want Rams. Well, I want I'm Rams. taking the Rams as well. Jeez, because I forgot I, I didn't pick Lions. I just said Rams, dog. Okay. Bro. Next. You know Lions. Read it, Quinn. Lions, J- Giants. Lions, Giants, I'm going, uh, I'll go with the main mode of Lions. No, I'm going Giants. Give me Giants. Giants are just, you know what I mean? Clear foul. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Giants. And giants have a better record than Bills, therefore they're better than the Bills. <laughs> There's no way. There Alright, next game, Panthers at Ravens. 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 Be more, be more, like... Jackson. Okay. Next. In the final game of the one o'clock slate. Slate. Commanders at Texans. I mean, Commanders are too hot right now. Commanders. I mean, they, I, I they, think, they beat I think the commanders. one. I don't know. Eight and one. And the Packers. Eagles. I guess. I guess like okay. Give commanders. me Commanders. Not not by choice. Yeah. Give me Commanders. It's by logic. It is by choice. I mean, it's you're choosing. You could by choose logic. It. I'm a realist. Uh, the first or the four o five game on Fox. Raiders and Broncos. Hmm. Broncos. Um, Raiders. I'm going to go with the Broncos. I'm going with the Raiders. As in the wise words of Jeff Saturday, the Raiders suck. Yeah. Broncos. Broncos. Suck. Broncos. Broncos country. Wait, hold on. Did I say the Raiders? Hold on. That's right. Wait, wait. Now give me Raiders. I might have been a, 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 a little dumb there. Did I say Raiders on accident? I don't know. Put I don't know. Me want. Just pick whoever you want. I might have said Raiders. Who do you want? I want the Broncos. Okay, so I might Broncos have said now. Raiders. Just, but you said Broncos. Then, no, then, then literally just erase it. I can't erase pen. Then cross it out. And fair. But if I said Raiders, it doesn't mean... 425. Raiders. Shut up! Cowboys, Vikings. I feel like it will be a good game. Uh, I'm going to go with the Vikings. But I will... Mm. Uh... Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go Vikings. Yeah. Griffin? 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 I want Cowboys. You want the Cowboys? I want Cowboys. Um, I mean, if the Cowboys win, then the Eagles have the number one seed again. I mean, we have it now, but, like, well, we, we now they're... Oh. 
Let's just can keep. Going. Yeah. So the next game, Bengals at Steelers. Mm. The. I'm gonna go You're off of this. This job. isn't okay. Um, I think Jamar Chase is not playing. Obviously, um, I think the Steelers have T.J. Watt. Um, they have their defensive uh, weapons back. Um, yeah, but his replacement is just about the same. So I am gonna go with the Steelers in a very close game. I'm also going to go with the Steelers just because they got TJ back. I mean, Najee is always good, so that's that's my point. I feel like... I, I To add on, I think if the Steelers run the ball the same way, mm-hmm. I think, yeah. Steelers run the ball the same way, and Kenny Pickett does the same thing with the football. He doesn't have to necessarily have a passing touchdown. He just has to protect the football. Mm-hmm. He does that. Steelers. Yeah. As much as I want the Steelers to win, they never win. They beat the Bengals already. Mm. They beat the Bengals yeah, already. That's true, but I don't know. Did you pick? I just always... I don't know. We're disappointing. <laughs> Trust me. I know. <laughs> They're very disappointing. Uh, you know what? I'll take Steelers. All right. Griffin? Pickett is still suck, but he'll, he'll, he'll have a Taylor Heineke game. Two touchdowns, one pick. Most don't win, though. Griff? What? Your pick? With what? Just Bengals Steelers. I'm going Bengals. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've got a counterpoint for you. No, we don't need to hear it. Yeah. Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett. Nah. He's nope. not good. Not All right. Flex. 820 on Sunday night. Wait, no. Chiefs at Chargers. Chiefs. 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 Even without Juju. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, Juju. Good <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, literally. Good night. I think I think I think the Chargers. Oh no, the the Chargers did something uh, before the year started that I thought it was really cool. They um they unveiled it. <laughs> yeah, Griffin. <laughs> oh, um, no, but the Chargers let out a video that um it was like they they released their their schedule, but it was like in a like an anime opening, and I thought it was really cool. Um, <laughs> Whoa! All right. Uh, next game, Monday night, eight fifteen, forty Niners and Cardinals. Niners all the way. Playing Cardinals. Cardinals. Okay, Niners. I'm gonna go with the Niners. Yeah, I'm going Niners. This guy won't shut the hell up. Uh, he answered a question, dude. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Okay, Griffin. Griffin. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, Bengals and Eagles. What? No. Both what? Playing. I know. Huh? Bengals Eagles. Forty Niners huh? Cardinals. Yeah, Niners. Because he wasn't paying attention, I'm, I'm just trying Niners. Niners. Yeah, Niners. Okay. I forgot to do... So, so, as we close off this segment in this week's it, episode, just, I forgot to do something, and I want to do something. Who um, you pick? Who you pick? Me? Yeah. Forty Niners. Okay. Um, so, next week, there's some pretty big college football games. Next week. Mm, are there next week? Some pretty yeah, good games. Are they from Ohio State? You got the Iron Bowl. Yeah, so let's go Iron ahead Bowl. and get. We're not going to do all the top 25 for next week, but I want to do the, the top games because we won't have a game next week. Um, or episode. So add these to a completely different list. Um, okay. So we won't have an episode next week as it is Thanksgiving break. We're all going to go back, spend joyous time with our families. Um, unfortunately, Griffin's family, they probably don't love him. They probably don't want him what? back. <laughs> Just kidding. They love him. I think. Mm. I hope. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know. So obviously, the top game next weekend: Michigan, Ohio State. Mm, big. It's at Ohio State. I'm going oh, to Ohio huge. State. I'm, I'm, going, yeah, I'm going with the Buckeyes. Yeah. yeah. I'm also and going you know what? But it's this loss, this game. Michigan loss, paves the way for the Tennessee Volunteers into the playoffs. What? Huh? Yeah. The loss, Michigan's mm-hmm. loss, will bump them down, and Tennessee will go into the playoff. No. Mm. Yes. yes They're yeah. not going to put a one loss team over a Tennessee team. They're going to put LSU in there. Dude, they put LSU over top of Tennessee. People will. What if, what if LSU wins the SEC? Oh. What if they do? What if they do? What if they do? Look at me. Look at me, Quinn. What if they do? Well, if they do, then they're still. And Michigan still loses, then that's still, that opens a spot. I think Tennessee's going to lose one more time before the season ends. Mm. For sure. 100%. Yeah, and you know what you said? You said it'd be against South Carolina. Oh, that's what she said last hey, week. That is true. That's what she said against last. That's what she said last week. I said it two minutes ago. 
Okay. Let's you go. said it last week too. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Let's see what other games we got here. Ooh. Um, Number 18, Notre Dame at USC. USC, that's not even USC. a close one. Notre Dame is so bad. Like, yeah. not, they shouldn't even be ranked. Uh, Griffin? 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 Notre Dame versus Griffin. USC? <sighs> I'm going to go USC. Okay. So, then the next game, the Iron Bowl. Auburn Alabama. and Alabama. 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 Roll freaking tide. Oh, roll tide. You're embarrassed. You're going baby on baby. <laughs>so sorry for that we had a little bit of technical difficulties our mic disconnected so now we're back um what were we talking about the iron bowl or no yeah. west virginia oklahoma state yeah, it's, west virginia, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's oklahoma so state. everyone's gonna predict oklahoma state and there's a difference between wanting a team to win and how much time we got left in this podcast yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're wrapping up here yeah we're wrapping up here so yeah so so yeah so that wraps up um <laughs> that wraps up this week's episode of the prt boys so next week there will not be an upload so for those weekly listeners which who knows if we have those weekly we don't. listeners they don't exist. hey no, you never know you never know man you never know don't say that look the weekly there's just a creepy old man the weekly listener yeah my mom my mom my mom she's a weekly listener shout out to the weekly listener if you come back every week the weekly listener the weekly listener so yeah, so Listen. this week's episode, the POT Boys, uh, this was it. Uh, this one, we won't have one next week um, due to Thanksgiving break, so we hope all of you all have a great Thanksgiving. Spend time with your family. Um, I'm yeah. yeah. Camden, I'm really going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, Quinn. No, I'll be all right without you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Griffin, thank you all for watching, for those of you that tuned in on YouTube, and thank you all for listening, those of you that listen on Spotify. We will be back the following week. As the bowl games will be ready to go, and we can assess some bowl games. That is true. We can predict every – oh, wow. Every bowl game. Ooh. Every no. bowl game. Every single bowl game. No matter who it is. Every oh, bowl game. No. Yeah. We're, 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 well, yeah. I do a thing back at home where my stepmom's work, we do bowls. Oh, and we all pick you up with $20 in, in the winter. Yeah, so buddy, I'm not betting. No. Why, can't, why can't we just do it? Why can't, can, can, I just propo- can I just propose – Stop. Can I, I propose, money. Can I propose something? Dude, I don't have money. We, none of us do this. Can I use your money? No. Exactly. Give me your money. We each put in. We each put in ten. And just like that, it's over. We each put in ten dollars and it gets the most bowl games wins forty bucks. No. No. You guys fucking suck. Did work. Language. Whoa. All right. So thank you all for tuning into this week's episode of the PRT Boys. We will see you all later. And always remember, go ears. Good night.